right guys so what i'm going to be using is this one and only color fix and it looks like this um and this is a color remover and this one i have already used but i get multiple uses out of it because my hair is so short i use one and two one is the color reducer and then two is the conditioning catalyst and they look like this and you mix equal parts um of each one it does come with a part three which is a processing lotion but i never i never use this because the girl at sally's told me um it's not necessary she said if you put it in your hair after you have removed sometimes it will deposit the color back into your hair and then you have to do the whole process over again so i've never used this um instead i have emptied the contents of three and i just use it to mix these two and then apply it So I can already see it working like towards the top, but just a few things, you will need to do this process in like a well ventilated area. It does have a really strong scent. Um, number two, the color that I get is not necessarily the color that you're gonna get because I had color under this color. So results will vary. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, I'm not a stylist, so this is not a tutorial. So don't, I don't want to see any comments about X, Y, and Z because this is just what I do for my hair. I'm not telling you to do this for your hair. Um, so yeah, I can already see it like taking the color out. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my bag and I'm going to wait. Um, I think it, it doesn't tell me, oh, it says maximum exposure time is 20 minutes so as you can see it's, well i can see that it's already working so it shouldn't take any longer than 20 minutes sometimes you may have to go and um do the process again depending on what results you're going for um and then it also says the more that you rinse it out and wash it the better the color comes out so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come back before I rinse and I'm gonna show you the color. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and this is what I have, which is pretty accurate because I had um, like a burgundy-ish color um, before I put the black on there. So what you see, like the dark roots is my natural color. Of course, it's only removing like artificial color it's not gonna it's not a bleach it's not going to alter your natural color it's just going to remove all of the um like permanent color and semi-permanent oh it also does not remove bleach because your hair has been lightened it's just going to remove any color that has been deposited on your hair <laughs> so i still look crusty but I have gone to the store. My hair is like this really dark auburn. Like really dark. The first mess it out was a little bit lighter. But anywho, um, I went to the store, which is why my hair looks so dry. Because it had time to dry. I went to the store and I got this um, L'Oreal Paris Feria. And I got the color Intense Copper. I don't know why this makes me so nervous because I've had so many colors in my hair. But apparently, my hair is a little bit darker than this. So hopefully it'll turn out the exact color that I'm looking for. Which is like a dark kind of copper-y. We will see. I've used this brand before. Um, and I actually think I put it on my channel, it was a while ago, but it was the perp, the intense violet or something. Um, so I do really like this brand, it works pretty good.
Okay guys, so this is the finished result. Um, I did add a little bit of bleach to it just to brighten it up because it was super dark. I am pretty much happy with the results. This is what I was going for. Something like coppery, spicy, um, but not too bright because it is like fall and winter time. So I wanted to keep it more toned down, but I actually really love it. My curls are still intact. It is a little bit of drop, a little bit dry, but I have deep condition throughout each process today. So that is how I get from black, well, how I remove my permanent color. So if I wanted to go and remove this color, I could just, I could still use um, this right here. It works for any color. Um, I love it so. <laughs> If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video